Well, you are definitely sure to find some great ideas at the Apollo Craft Show, just like you heard. But don't forget to do some shopping in downtown Lima as well this holiday season. In fact, this year, shopping local could mean some great prize winning opportunities for you. One more swing back to Dancy, and now she has a representative from Downtown Lima Incorporated talking about this year's holiday shopping pass. Well, yes, the Christmas season is upon us, and downtown businesses in Lima are trying to make it so much easier for us and to give something back as well. And joining us now is Jennifer Brogy, and Jennifer is a co-owner of the Meeting Place on Market. Welcome to you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Yes, Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, <laughs> so um, you have a, um, this is something that has been going on for about five years now, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Um, I assume this has been a great success. It has. Uh, people really want to get back to shopping for fun mm -hmm. and not necessarily chaos. Um, so the map that we offer just is a fun experience for people to visit all the various downtown shops and kind of get a flavor of shopping in the big city. Very good. So could you tell us some of the um, businesses that are participating? Sure. Yeah, I have a list right here. Um, we've got Nitza's, which is a dress shop, Alter Ego Comics, Beauty by Jill, um, Hofel, Hofeller, Hyatt and Clark, they have been downtown since 1898, menswear, um, the meeting place on market, Point of Joy, which is a dance boutique. We have Maynard's Consign and Design, mm -hmm. um, and then a few other stops uh, for with restaurants, Fat Cat Diner and The Met. Okay. So you can stop in there and um, have your pass, get a sticker for your pass and have something to eat. Um, Quick as Awake Printing and the Lima Public Library. Great. So, you know, obviously this is to encourage um, shoppers to stop in at all of these businesses, mm -hmm. but there is something they get in return then. That's right. Um, if they stop at nine out of the 11 stops, there are three prizes that they'll be entered to win. Okay. So it's really simple. There's no purchase necessary at any of the locations. You can just stop in, browse, and um, ask for a sticker at the front counter. And then once you get nine stickers, write your name and address on the pass, drop it off at any of the locations, and there are three different prizes. So we've got a $250 gift basket from downtown businesses as a first prize, $150 gift basket, second prize, and $100 gift basket, third prize. So Great. So now this doesn't time. all have to be done in one day, right? You can no. take your time through the holidays. Yep. Okay. Yep. All the way through December 22nd. Okay. Yeah. So come on down and do your last minute shopping mm -hmm. and then turn it in by the 22nd. Now where do you pick up one of these pamphlets then? Any of the participating businesses have them. Okay. Or you can download it from visitdowntownlima.com. Okay. So, you know, everyone wants to know, is there a sale? Or will there be <laughs> specials throughout the season? Um, I'm assuming that's going to be part of it yes. as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. There will be a lot of specials. Um, and actually there's also a fun shopping night on December 10th. Okay. Um, at the meeting place where a lot of these businesses will be and there'll be some special sales there as well. What I like about it is that, you know, it's not just shopping for clothing. You've got the restaurants involved as mm -hmm. well and mm -hmm. um, a men's store. And so, you know, there really is something for everyone downtown, isn't there? Yeah. And, and I know most of the shops are offering discounts on gift certificates. So that always makes it easy. If you're not sure what to buy, get a gift certificate and yeah. they can pick it out later. Very good. So how is the downtown doing? Um, you know, there's always, there are always trends, you know, mm -hmm. there's always the shopping mall trend and then, right. you know, there's a, a, a push for shopping more in a downtown area. Mm -hmm. um, how is Lima doing? There seems to be a lot of marketing in that direction. Now. Yeah, there's a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons that we want to invest so much in the downtown area is because the infrastructure is there. Um, so we already have some great buildings, all the infrastructure is set up. So we, we're really encouraging um, the, the, business, the downtown area to be built up so that those areas can be filled. Because when we have empty spots in downtown Lima, that affects all of us. That's for sure. Not just um, where you live, but your whole city is impacted by what the downtown looks like. That's right. You know, I live in Salina and, you know, when you think about coming into another uh, region, you always wonder, um, you wonder about parking, you wonder about safety. Mm -hmm. And I think those issues are being addressed, aren't they? Yes. Um, and actually the downtown area is very safe. It's comparable to any of the suburban areas. And um, we do have a, a great police presence in all, you know, in the entire city. Mm -hmm. 
And parking, if, if you had a bird's eye view, you would realize how many empty parking spots there are. That is true. Yeah. We just have to remember we can walk. Most of <laughs> us can walk. So, you know, if we have to go any further than a block, we always feel like we're being inconvenienced. <laughs> but, you know, it's true. Yeah. Um, there are spots available. So yep. um, any plug that you want to put up? out there for the marketplace, or the meeting place, I'm sorry. Well, I'll just say that, um, again, on December 10th from 6 to 9, we're having a shopping night with a lot of these downtown businesses, and we have free desserts and coffee, so come on down and, and just enjoy your downtown shops. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much, very much, Jennifer. Thank you. All right.